Hello, Central Illinois. Busy hoop night. We start at the Metamora Redbird Round Ball Classic, a very rare sight. An undefeated high school basketball team in mid-January. Mount Zion arrives in town with a perfect 18-0 record. This is a battle of state-ranked teams. Mount Zion and Metamora is a great game. Tyler Mason, the four-point play. Three plus the whistle for Mason. Then Cooper Catch drills a three, and I'll tell you what, Metamora was going nuts. The Redbirds shooting out to an early lead, but they're actually down two at the end of the first half. The fake. The take by Ashton Greaves. They run off the court up by one on Greaves' buzzer beating three. Second half, Cooper Koch got inside, scored off, and he had 24 points, 10 rebounds. Then watch Tyler Mason leave it for Luke Hopp, and Hopp throws down the dunk for Metamore. But Metamore is down 62 61 when Matthew Zobris, the big three of the game to put him ahead. Zobris at 18, then great passing. Watch Hopp to Ashton Greaves. This one was kind of the dagger bucket. Metamore wins at 72. To 69. The Peoria Manual Rams are playing three games at the Redbird Round Ball Classic. Tonight versus Dunlap, it's all manual. Daniel Findlay with the finger roll. Then Dietrich Richardson outside the line drive three by Richardson goes down. Later it's going to be Jarrell Trapp going the long way home with the reverse layup for Manuel. Dunlap breaks the pressure here. Austin Walker to Will Rankin, but yeah, it was a fun night to be a manual ram. Off the steal here, Imani Breedlove is doing uh, two-hand chin-ups. Later, it's going to be Landon London Tolliver with the steal. He's going to throw it ahead to Dietrich Richardson. You see why Richardson has Big Ten Illinois offers. He throws down the dunk. Manual a big, big win. At the Potter Dome, Middle Illini leader Morton taking on Canton. And who is Wes Gudeman? Wes Gudeman is a terrific post player. Wes Gudeman is a sharp shooting at three-point shooter. Wes Gudeman is a... A point guard leaving the fast break. He goes all the way for the bucket. He had 22 for the Potters. Can't get a strong game from Lake and Otto. Watch Otto right here. The terrific lefty finish high off the window. Later, Otto outside three of his 13 points, but this one's all Morton. Grant Selke's coming up with a swipe in the score right here for the Potters. Then it's senior Evan Barlow for three off a of Gudeman assist. Gudeman's going to get another assist to Alex McKee. Boy, McKee is a great shooter. He drills it right here. Potters are 8 0 in the conference. Now to the Big 12 Conference and a night at the kitchen for conference leader normal community. Dylan Defenders game raising money in the battle against childhood cancer, raising money for the St. Jude kids. Great to see Dylan at the game with his Notre Dame teammates tonight. Owen Osborne's lobbing the ball inside the big Jaheim Weber. Huge size advantage every game for normal community. Certainly the case here. Teddy LaHood's been playing great for the Irish. The lefty finish for PND. But back comes normal community. Their guards, Braylon Romans and Nico Newsom for the baseline blast. Later, Marcus Russell throws it ahead, and Nico Newsom's going to throw it down. Boom. How about uh, Elliot Lynch getting a three for the Irish right in front of Coach Locker, but too much normal community. Trey Bird had a beautiful pass right here to Noah Cleveland for the bucket through contact. Then Mac Brennan's coming up with a steal. He's going to find Kobe Walker for the hammer. Normal community is headed up to Chicago for a big shootout tomorrow. They're winners tonight. Fury Richwood's hosting Urbana, and what a night for the Quan Little. He had six threes in the first half. Number zero was putting on a shooting show. Lathan Somerville out to agent zero for three more right here. Then it's those other guards for Richwood's Jared Jackson on the attack and the finish soars and scores. Then Tavy Smith is coming up with the poke away, the swipe and the score right here for Richwood's. Got any dunks to show us? We've got dunks. Uh, Jared Jackson to Lathan Somerville for the hammer. Later it's going to be Daquan Little, our shooting star. He's throwing it to Somerville. Somerville had 20. Hello, Richwood's a big win. Special night at Peoria High. It's a Legends Night. Kendrick Green on hand. How about Sean Livingston uh, back in Peoria High? They're all there to honor Mike Lawless in the latest legend, the great legendary cross country coach at Peoria High. Spencer Russell is going to find Keon Jordan. Some nice passing right here by the Peoria High Lions. They're taking on Normal West. Alex Austin is dialing long distance for the Wildcats. Then Malik Gibbons Jackson is going to, or Malik Gibbons is going to find Jackson Whelan Lenaris down low for the bucket for West. But a nice night for LaShawn Stowers. Stowers hits the three right here. Later, he's going to show Sean Livingston how to throw down the hammer. The big dunk right here, and Peoria High gets the win. Bloomington hosting Danville this evening. Jeremiah Peelant is going to score right here for a Bloomington on a pull-up three. Later, it's Robert Clark for Bloomington, but Danville is going to get away with the victory. Clark will score here, but Danville wins it. 
67 to 40. Normal U High hosting that really good Lincoln team. Uh, Cam Johnson and Owen Nelson. They got a little connection. Cam Johnson to Owen Nelson. Nice. Cam Johnson, the uh, alley oop to Owen Nelson. Very, very, very nice right there. Later, Cam Johnson, the alley oop to Owen Nelson. Nelson had a dozen, but this Lincoln team is good. Carson Tomnick, a beautiful highlight right here by Carson. Lincoln wins it. Who welcome back? Who will walk away with the HOI McLean County Trophy this weekend? We head to the Shirk Center for the semifinals of the 112th annual McLean County Tournament. This is El Paso Gridley taking on Lexington. Great ball game. Jonah Funk shines Chance A. Maxson 4 3. Then watch Funk score inside. El Paso Gridley got off to a very very quick start to this game, but Lexington would come back off the steal. Ethan Storm is on the attack right here for two for the Minutemen. Then Griffin Harry with a nice fadeaway. Lexington gave El Paso Gridley all they could handle, but with those two junior stars for EPG. Micah Meese had 20 points. Watch Meese get to the rack here for the nifty finish. Then Meese the alley oop to Funk. Funk had 18 points, 16 rebounds. The hello Funk. Rhymes with dunk. And El Paso Gridley advances to the championship 59-54. Semifinal number two, Fieldcrest, the defending champion, taking on Tri-Valley. Jordan Hyder for the Fieldcrest Knights is good for three. But then Ed Lord, I'd like to watch this kid play. He's going to hit a pull-up jumper for three right here. Brandon Stombaugh, the big kid for Tri-Valley, is going to roll to the hoop right here. Nice dribble drive and finish. Little dipsy-doo for two. And then it's Kyler Zook for three. Zook for three right there. But, but uh, this is a win for... Fieldcrest. Connor Reitman right here hits a three. Then Brady Russman, their big guy, is going to score down low with the post-up move. And then watch Russman lead the fast break. He's going to find Lorton for the hoop. Boy, that'll be a good game tomorrow. Fieldcrest will pass a really big rivalry for the big trophy. The ICAC tournament was last weekend. Alani Bluffs beat Peoria Christian in the title game. Tonight, the two meet in a regular season game. And this one, a high-scoring game after a low-scoring game last week. Malachi Persinger right here, Lane Hunt for Peoria Christian. But then Trey Brickner is going to get the assist from Persinger and drill a three. Persinger had 13 points, the nifty step back three. Boy, is he fun to watch right here as he drives in, steps back, drills the three. That's nifty work right there. But Alani Bluffs is going to get the win. Wyatt Hendel inside to Hank Alvey, who beats the double team for two. Then it's Hendel on the drive. He gets the and one three-point play off the window for IB. The IB pressure comes up with a steal here. Jaden Washington Caden's defense into offense. Then how about Hank Alvey for three? Hank had 24. Toby Cooper had 23. Alani Bluffs gets the win. Farmington hosting Elmwood in a big rivalry game. Oliver Thornton's going to find Bo Windis. What a great athlete Bo is posting up. And he hits a little jump hook right there for Elmwood. Then Jackson McGee is going to score for Elmwood on the nifty drive right here. Around the defense and scores. Jack Gronwald is going to score on the other end for Farmington. He's a Good looking soft. Oh, a little flip. He got away with the travel, but a little flip right there. But check out the end of the half. Cyrus Nims from half court. Oh, the night belongs to Elmwood. Elmwood wins at 60 to 47. Now to girls hoops, the middle line eye leader, Washington at Pekin tonight. And welcome to the Avery Tibbs show. The Washington super sophomore all over our highlights tonight. Here she's going to drive to the basket and hit the little pull up. But then it's going to be Danny Gaday getting the assist as she's going to find Tibbs going back door. Good movement without the basketball. Pekin's, um, uh, then, uh, excuse me, then it's uh, Becca McDougal to Avery Tibbs. And Tibbs is going to score again off a of McDougal assist, I believe, right here. And it's a win for Washington. Washington winner over Pekin, Dunlap and Canton, also winners in middle line girls. The Richwoods girls versus undefeated. Number one ranked in class 4A Loyola. And Rich was played well. Lana Ross for three. Then Cam Hyder hits the jumper. But Loyola, the number one ranked team in 4A, is a winner in this game. Don't forget tomorrow, the number one ranked teams in 2A and 3A meet. That'll be Peoria Notre Dame versus Lincoln at Renaissance Coliseum.